All right, here we go. New SEC football dynasty. And we had week 11 preview. Getting ready to uh, uh, another round of SEC football. We're going to start off looking at the uh, at the uh, standings in both divisions. And uh, as you can see, uh, we almost got a three-way tie um, with, uh, with those three top teams in the East. And they still got to play each other. So... There's still a lot that has to be decided. So even though Key West is, is unbeaten, they still got to play Central Tennessee. And then Central Tennessee, Central Tennessee has to play Florida and T. So uh, looking at uh, this week's uh, schedule. Got a couple of 1 o'clock games, a couple of 6 o'clock games, and a couple of 8 o'clock games. Okay, looking at Shiloh. This is a very important game for Shiloh because uh, they still got it. The, inst the uh, tiebreaker against um, uh, Alabama Tech, so they still got a shot. Here, this is the game for first place, uh, pretty much, between Central Tennessee and uh, Key West State. Um, winner gets the tiebreaker, if you will. Uh, Key West State wins, then they have pretty much almost sealed things up. Right here, we have a game no one's really going to care about. Uh, need a team will be uh, having a shot for anything, not even a, a bowl bid. So this is a nobody cares game right here between uh, Mississippi Tech and Northeast Texas State. Florida a t and Northeast Alabama is playing in what we call the last chance bowl because the loser of this game right here has definitely blew their last chance of, of maybe winning a division with uh three games left so this is the last chance oh <laughs> losers out <laughs> and um right here we got another game that uh basically um it got a it's more uh important to golf court because they still got a shot at uh old bid but uh the bulldogs well we're hoping that they won't pack it in they can play spoilers so we'll see how that game go we will definitely see how that one goes and then we have uh alabama tech the generals taking on the cotton mouth this is a big game for the cotton miles it's also a big game for alabama tech Alabama Tech got to maintain their division lead. And this will be the game for uh, a and if they can win this one. Get the inside track drop, And then uh, just put uh, Alabama Tech in a bad way because they would have lost the, uh, the, uh, the edge over... Not just Shallow, but AM as well. So they would have lost the tiebreakers against both of those teams. So that means both those teams would have to lose a third game. <laughs> and so there you go. Uh, that's the schedule. Uh, we're going to be kicking off with Shallow Christian and uh, Kentucky Christian and the Christian Academy Bowl at 1 o'clock Saturday. So until then, you have a good one.